This is a Boscam BOS 600, 5.8 gigahertz, uh, 600 milliwatt. So they say, a 32 channel video transmitter. We're running it off a 12 volt supply, storing about 330 milliamps. Now I've set this to group F, F for fog shark or fat shark or fault shark, whatever you want to call it, channel 8. So it's a frequency of 5880 megahertz. Okay, now when it's reasonably cold, we can see it's putting out 25.67 dBm. Um, that correlates to 370 milliwatts. You can see it's a little bit low on the frequency side. It's about 2.2 um, megahertz low. That's not really an issue, considering the receiver's um, well AFC lock. Let's just drop down. Now, these things do suffer from power fade quite badly, uh, like most of these video transmitters. 20.5.5 uh, dBm is, correlates to 355 milliwatts. 25.33 dBm correlates to 340 milliwatts. Have to excuse the shakes, this is handheld. 25.17 dBm, that goes down to 328 milliwatts, so it's fluctuating. This spectrum analyzer has uh, measurement steps of 0.166666 dBm, so they're the steps we're seeing. 25.17, 328 milliwatts. Twenty-five dBm, it's three hundred and sixteen milliwatts. As you can see it's actually somewhere in between. It's actually getting quite warm to touch. I have done the heatsink modification with this, so the active device does have uh, better thermal contact with the uh, with the outer case and the heatsink, so it's pulling more heat away from it. I did uh, find doing that it's pulling three point the outer case is three point nine degrees warmer, so that's less heat that's uh, being built up on the active device. We're down to twenty four point eight three dBm. It correlates to three hundred and four milliwatts. Twenty four point six seven. It's two hundred ninety two milliwatts. We're under three hundred milliwatts now. Now obviously there's uh, no for forced air cooling, a benefit you might get if your mini quad's flying along and it is exposed to uh, some air movement. Three minutes in, we're down to uh, 292 milliwatts. Frequency is reasonably stable. Now I should point out this spectrum analyzer is actually uh, is using uh, the external reference input, uh, which is coming from a uh, Trimble Thunderbolt. I've got a, an error of um, there we go, 0 0.041 parts per billion at uh, the 10 meg reference that the spectrum analyzer is using. So we're four minutes in, we're down to 24.33 dBm, which is 271 milli, milliwatts. It's certainly nowhere near the uh, 600 milliwatt rating. Now I'm just going to loosen the SMA, and we will turn this sucker around. Tighten that back up. This, uh, this side of the case acts as a heat sink. So we'll just use the uh, non-contact thermometer you can see the two red dots from that and we're measuring a case temperature of uh, let's call it 60 degrees yeah 60.5 degrees 